Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Poppyfish and today guys I'm going to be showing you how to build a raid farm designed by Raiseworks. So let's get into it. Okay, so for materials this is what you're going to need. Uh, yeah, everything in this is pretty much what you need except the beacon is optional uh, but is recommended. So yeah, um, I'll just let you guys pause the video and gather your materials. Uh, these don't have to be the smooth stone, these don't have to be the white stained glass. Um, again, it can be any type of fence, it can be a type of fence gate, any type of wall. Um, it does have to be stone pressure plates, and any type of slab is fine. And yeah, so it has to be stone buttons. And, or actually, I don't think it does have to be stone buttons. Uh, they're just used to uh, de spawn proof the area. Anyways, uh, yeah, go ahead and gather up those materials. Um, not all the glass needs to be glass either if you don't have a lot of glass on you. So this farm is directional. You're gonna to need to make sure that it, the bed is facing the south direction like so. So the head of the bed is facing south. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna count up with our blocks 20. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and 20. Okay, so right here we're gonna go ahead and put a fence and then to this side we're going to place some soul sand and then over here we're going to place a block with a repeater and you're going to place a pressure plate here. Repeater is going to be on two ticks going into a block uh, which will have some redstone dust here and a piston right there. Okay so now what we're going to do is you're going to grab uh, your glass. Oops. Go ahead and place uh, two glass like so, and then you're going to place a wall like this. And what you're going to do is you're going to take um, all of these, all of this, so basically from here all the way up, you're going to take it 90 blocks, including this block. So if you started here at the correct level, which would be C level, so this, if we look at this, this is 63, the bed is on 64, and then up here should be at uh, 84. So then we take this up 90 blocks. So if you did it correctly, this should be up at Y174. That is if you're starting with the same Y level as me. Okay, and then you're gonna continue fences up uh, just above this. Okay, and then once you've gotten all these up to Y174 or 90 blocks up from here, Go ahead and place in water going all the way up. Uh, and a good way to do this is put a source at the top and the bottom and do kelp. That's one good way to do it. All right, so now at the top here, what you're gonna do is grab a couple uh, pieces of glass, come up here, and you're going to place uh, some temporary blocks like so. And uh, yeah, all you're gonna need to do is grab yourself some sticky pistons, place those in like that, put a repeater in like so, and then put a block like that. Get a repeater, put that on full delay. So full delay, one tick, and then up here like so, and like so. And then we're gonna put a block here. And now we're gonna need an observer. Uh, go ahead and place the observer like this, facing into this block. And then on this uh, block here, you can place a piece of redstone dust. And then right over here, you're gonna place a sticky piston with an observer facing like so into the piston. So when this extends, it'll create a clock. Okay, so now real quick, go ahead and grab some slabs and make sure that these are spawn proof. So uh, for this would be like that, um, like so, and like so. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do the next circuit. 
So when you come up here, we are going to need the, uh, you're going to get pushed over, but right now you're going to fall. So let's go ahead and work on not falling. So uh, let's go ahead and get a trapdoor. And yeah, we're going to need a temporary block right here and place a trapdoor like that. So this is on the same level as the uh, water. Then come up one and we're going to need a uh, pressure plate here and that will activate that piston. And we will eventually get onto here. Okay, make sure that this is up one like so. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that when we do fall, we don't die. So falling, 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 and oh no, we're going to hit nothing. <laughs> we're just going to go to bed. Uh, so what we're going to do now is right where we're going to fall, which is right here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create a bit of a fall cushioner. So do that, that, and then we're going to grab water like so. Boom. And yeah, sometimes it will do this. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to place a slab there and you should be good to go. So again, when this gets activated, see it still, you'll still get, yeah. And when you're here, uh, it doesn't change. You'll be right around here, I believe. And as you can see, we are in the water again. So that circuit there works perfectly fine. So when we fall to our death or death, what would be death, uh, we actually will survive. So there we go. So now we need to make sure that this is activated on a clock. So let's go ahead and grab a block. And this is going to, we're going to put a block there, block there. We're going to need a trapdoor uh, like so. So <laughs> yeah, that is going to be there. Now get rid of that block and put a block down here. Do that. Now let's go ahead and grab ourselves a repeater and set that to two ticks. I'll go ahead and place an observer into that, facing into that repeater, like so. Then grab your slabs. And that's where your slab's gonna go. Now, right now would be a good time to open up your platform here. Uh, I'm just going to leave it like so. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is uh, grab ourselves a, or create ourselves a hopper clock. So go ahead and what we need to do now is we need to create the hopper clock so that it is on the level of this here. So with your sticky piston, go ahead and place it on the, right next to this slab, right above the uh, observer and then of course you're going to need your other sticky piston like so so that they're two blocks apart of course your redstone block and then go ahead and get your hoppers uh, make sure that they're facing into each other and you're going to fill these with uh, 64 and 13 so 64 and 13 <laughs> okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to actually finish this up so go ahead block here and block and create that little shape on either side of this. Okay, and then go ahead and grab yourself uh, two comparators, one, two. This will go into a redstone dust, redstone dust, there we go. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to make sure that nothing can spawn on these. So uh, yeah, what we're gonna do uh, is create, put slabs all around here. And yeah, and then we're gonna grab some composters. And put them like so. So now this trapdoor here needs to always stay like it is. So we're gonna go ahead and power that. So yeah, there we go. Uh, now this hopper clock is working right now. But what we need to do is we need to make sure that we can turn this off. So place a lever here and turn that on and that will be its off state. Uh, you could also place the lever here, it doesn't matter. Uh, okay, so now what we're gonna do is the killing area for the mobs. All right, so with the, come back to the back here, which is the, uh, where these are, and right where our, uh, guy is going to be standing on this trapdoor, 
You know, grab yourself some chests. Uh, this is just gonna, for us, be simulating uh, your storage system um, and just two chests like that and then two hoppers like so. Uh, again, this would it's just simulation. What you would do is probably have hoppers going down more into like a storage room that you'd build right around here. Uh, and you could have some sort of staircase going all the way around or something. I don't know how you do it. You could have the items going all the way down. I have no idea what you do, but this is where the items are gonna be. And for this uh, tutorial purposes, I'm just putting two double chests here. Okay, so to uh, make it so both of these will pick up items from a one block gap, what we need to do is get a hopper minecart in there. So first of all, we're gonna need a, uh, a rail. Uh, that was not a materialist, but we do need it, sorry. And what we're gonna do is place the rail like so, and remove that temporarily and put a block here. And then we're gonna grab our cake and go ahead and place that there. And so now what we do is grab a hopper minecart right here and place that there. But before you do that, go ahead and put a block on either side, like so. And now place your hopper minecart in. And then come back here and destroy that. Then make sure that this is fully going in, just like so. Place a block on top, and then that. And grab yourself a piston. Boom, and then power that. And yeah, so now when we drop something in there, it will go into both hoppers. So if we dropped, I don't know, a bunch of levers, we would see them uh, go into both of these. Okay, now you can remove uh, these here. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab uh, some glass. Uh, actually, first of all, put two blocks there and now grab some glass. And what we're gonna do is do that and that, just like so. And then on this side, do the same thing except without the two blocks. So just like that, that's gonna be your glass area. Okay. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab uh, some fences. And we're gonna bring this up four blocks. One, two, three, and four. Okay. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to put in some more chests, but these are so that we can actually get the mobs when we're AFKing. So place double chest there and a double chest here. This one here is so when you walk in there, you don't bob around as much as I am. Um, but the reason that happens is because that. So now when we walk in here, there we go. Okay, so destroy these two here and replace them with, uh, actually, put a temporary block there and grab yourself some sticky pistons and place two like so. Then grab yourself some trapdoors and place those on there like so. Okay, so now we're gonna do some redstone uh, with these pistons. So. From this slab here, go ahead and put a block and then or bring that up one like so, then up one like so, then over, and then up like that. And then we're gonna come around to this side, place a block like so, and then grab a couple slabs and place those like that. Now go ahead and place a repeater going into that block and into that block. Put them both at two ticks and put some redstone dust on like so slabs on top is prevent spawning and to turn this on you just flick it on and off real quick um, but in order to wire up the second piston we need to make sure that the redstone dust here I'm gonna turn that off for now because it's very very loud okay so now what we're gonna do is we're going to work on the uh, drop shoot for the mobs so let's go ahead and do that so uh, above these here we're gonna go up 24 blocks so uh, including this one here so yeah and then of course bring up your glass here so then so one two three and bring up the fence gates so now that we're up here what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this glass and we're gonna go two up like so and make that a three by three and destroy this fence here then what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this up three and this up three and then make a wall of glass three tall around this uh, 
thing here. And then when you come to this side here, what you're going to do is place in two uh, fences, like so, three tall. And now what we're going to do is going to grab a fence gates. And make sure that that fence gate is not going to attach like this. Just make it uh, like so and open that. Now go ahead and get water. And place the water right like so. So now the mobs will funnel into there. Okay, so now we're going to do the next funneling uh, part of this. And what we're going to do is we're going to, above this thing here, we're going to create a 5 by 5 ring. And we're going to extend it by one block on everything. So we have a 7 by 7 with a 3 by 3 hole cut out. And then we're going to place some blocks temporary here so we have a hole there. And... Do that, and that. So there we go. That is where all the mobs are going to fall into. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a three high wall around this entire thing. Okay, now in this we're going to go ahead and place a bucket of water in every corner. And there we go, that is how we want this to look. So now uh, on top of this, we're gonna go up two blocks. Like so, and now what we're gonna do is grab our packed ice. Come in one and make a five by five platform. And with that, we should have a one block gap on every side. Okay, so now on each one, you're gonna place two chests and they're gonna be in the middle, one block apart, just like that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and place a piece of dirt right here. And if you're doing the sign trick, uh, you don't need to do that. All you need to do is a sign and a sign and then a sign on top of that sign like so. Now with these ones, you're going to place these guys just like so and open them all up. Okay, so now what we need to do is make sure the lava flows in the correct direction. So let's create uh, put some dirt here and then put your fences like so. Uh, if you have fire tick off, you can just do wooden fences. Of course, if you have them on, do that one. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and place a piece of dirt above those. Oops. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is get the trapdoors in place to hold the lava correctly. So two pieces of dirt like that, and then do something like this and just destroy those. And then what you're gonna do is place your trapdoors like that, go around to the other side and trapdoors like that, and destroy the dirt. Okay, so now it's time to create a checkerboard pattern sort of thing so that the lava flows in correctly. So uh, just come to the corner here and place two dirt like that and then uh, do uh, surround each one of these like that pattern. And you'll create yourself a interesting checkerboard pattern here. And when that all finish, it should look like this. All right, and so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab trapdoors and bring them all the way across like so, and then destroy the ones above either your fence gate or your sign. Okay, and then on top of these, go ahead and place buttons so nothing can spawn. Alrighty, and now what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, destroy the dirt uh, around all of this, or actually no, just these four dirt up here, uh, and then we're gonna place the lava. So lava, and go ahead and place lava just on top of your sign or fence, uh, like so. Whoops, don't do that. 
Uh, make sure it's on top of that thing there. And as you can see, it all should flow in the correct direction. Wait for it all to flow down. And then you can carefully remove all of this dirt here. Alrighty. And that, my friends, is actually the farm completed. So I'm just going to show you how to use it. So you're going to need, of course, a sword with sweeping edge, sharpness, and unbreaking, preferably, uh, as well as mending. And then if we get an anvil, go ahead and do this so come to the front of the farm for us is right here okay so this is the ideal sword here and so now just make sure that you have a villager all the way down here at this bed so villager right here this is going to be the guy who detects bad omen then make sure he sleeps all right and so now that he slept we can go ahead and use the farm here so of course you're going to have to go get yourself bad omen which you do by killing one of the pillagers with a banner Okay, now next what you're gonna do is make sure that everything on the farm is on. So make sure this lever is off and then flick this lever so it does that clock. And let's go ahead and enter the farm. And you're gonna aim up here and you're gonna click. And yeah, we're just gonna wait until we fall. All right, and now we are falling, as you can see. And then we start the raid because we've come into range with the villager and we're going up this bubble stream all the way up. And here we are. And now we should hear the raid horns. Oh, there they are, I hear them. It's hard to hear over the pistons. Oh, but there we go. We have pillagers. And we can start killing them. And as you can see, we got Bad Omen again. So when we go back, go back down, we will start a new raid. So there we go, guys. That is the farm completed. Um, and let's see what we got with the very first wave. We got a totem of a dying, five emeralds. Six emeralds, a saddle, uh, and those levers were from earlier. Let's see if there's, there's pro there sh might be some mobs left over up here. Yep. But when the new wave uh, summons in, they'll push them all off, and they'll once again come back down, and you'll be able to uh, start a new raid and get all your awesome drops. And yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Um, and I hope you found this video useful. And yeah, guys, see you in the next video. Goodbye.